Hi, I'm Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to teach you about transversals. Nope, not singing you a song, because I don't sing, nor do I play this wonderfully cool instrument. Uh, but this ukulele has something, uh, has a bunch of things that applies to geometry. Today I'm going to teach you about transversals. Say, transversals. Transversals are lines. Okay, so here, if you can see the... Here are the strings of the ukulele. Okay, so here are two strings right here. And these lines right here, okay, I don't know, I think these are called riffs uh, uh, that help you play different notes. These lines right here are called transversals. Transversals are lines that intersect two other lines. So here's two lines right here from the strings. And this line right here, this horizontal line, is a transversal because it intersects both of those strings. Transversal. Yeah, not singing. Good. You don't want to hear me sing. Or, uh, to, to be a little more exact, here are two lines made by these markers. And here is a transversal. A transversal is just a line that intersects two other lines. Okay, or... Let's look at this creation of Big Ben. There are a bunch of transversals here, but let's just focus on these two uh, supporting columns right here and this one horizontal line right here that intersects both of those columns. This will be considered a transversal. This would also be considered a transversal because it intersects both columns right there. So a transversal is just a line that intersects two other lines, or three other lines, or four other lines. It intersects two or more lines. Uh, and why is that important? Because they create a bunch of angles. And today, I'm going to show you uh, the types of angles that transversals create. All right, so this video, we're going to talk about angles that are formed by transversals. And remember, transversal is a line that intersects two or more other lines. Uh, so, to this video, the four angles that are created by a transversal. And we'll talk about that. The first type of angle are corresponding angles. So we're talking about pairs of angles. And so all these angles are based on their location. Another word for corresponding would be called same so put this in your notes right corresponding angles draw this over here press pause and then write same position so let's look at uh, these lines that are intersected by this transversal I'm just gonna highlight this transversal this is a transversal because it intersects the two other lines and same position so for example Angle one is corresponding to now. Let's look, let's talk about the the position of angle one. It's to the left of the transversal. So we have uh, four or three other options, three other angles that are to the left of the transversal, but it's also above a line. What other angle is to the left and above a line? Yep, that's angle five. So. Angle one, let's just write these down. So angle one and angle five are corresponding. They're both to the left and above, same position. All right, how about angle four? Let's put a little box around that one. Uh, which one is corresponding to angle four? Well, angle four is to the left of the transversal and below the line. So angle eight would be its corresponding angle. So corresponding angle to angle four is angle eight or angle eight. Uh, the corresponding angle to angle eight is angle four. All right, so what other pairs do we have? How about angle two? Let's put a triangle around that one. Uh, angle two. Uh, is to the right of the transversal and above a line. So what other angle is to the right and above? That would be angle six. Same position. And the last one uh, to the right and, and below the line, to the right and below the line would be angle seven and angle three, or angle three and angle seven. So these are the four pairs of corresponding angles. They're all in the same position. 
they're above to the left to the left so corresponding same position so it's very important that you guys remember these and you can quickly recognize these because later on in geometry uh, you're going to be relying on you knowing and being able to recognize which angles are corresponding so press pause and review these until you know them all right unpause next type of angle are alternate interior angles okay so these are some words that um, we may or may not know so interior think about interior interior of where do you hear that word interior of a car so let's pretend that uh, this is a cool looking car right here so if I just drew a box like this interior inside the two lines these would be your interior angles now alternate means uh, if it's if, if you give one to me then I give one to you okay going back and forth or if you want to think about it this way uh, let's say that this right here okay not, not the car analogy anymore we're gonna do another analogy uh, we're gonna do a map analogy or your streets where you live so let's say that you are uh, going trick-or-treating it's almost Halloween spooky time guys and let's say that first house you go to is uh, and you're only going to the interior houses but the alternate interior houses here's your street right here here is the first house you go to you're going to house six you get your your candy and yeah and then you go to and then you're gonna walk down the street but you want to go to the alternate house which house are you gonna to go to which is the alternate interior house is four because it's on the alternate side of the transversal so the first pair of alternate interior angles are four and six or six and four the other uh, pair of alternate interior angles okay in the inside the interior are five and on the opposite side of the transversal would be three so angle five and angle three those are our pairs of alternate interior angles so those will be alternate interior and these two will be alternate interior angles okay all right press pause and draw this in your notes then once you're done unpause uh, so this is very similar to the alternate X to interior angles but these are alternate exterior angles so on the exterior remember the analogy of the car so here is our car we want to go on the outside of the car so angle one and two are exterior angles and angle eight and seven are exterior angles but we want to go on the alternate sides of the transversal so here is our transversal but you know what I'm only going to highlight the exterior part of the transversal we're not going to focus on the interior because duh, it says exterior so what would be the alternate exterior angle to one well on the alternate side of the transversal and still staying on the exterior would be seven so angle one and angle seven and the other pair of alternate exterior angles would be eight and let's put a box so angle eight and Okay, still stay on the exterior and the alternate side would be angle two. There you go. Two pairs of alternate exterior angles. Okay, and then my phone is going off. Uh, hopefully you ignore that. Um, all right, next one. Same side interior angles. Okay, so I'm going to highlight just the interior part of the transversal. and uh let's see here so same side we don't want to go on alternate side so if we start off with angle five what is on the same side of the transversal still in the interior it would be angle four so angle five and angle four are same side interior angles what's the other one uh it would be angle three and angle six are both on the same side and on the in interior okay so make sure those are the four types of angles that are formed by transversals make sure you're able to easily recognize these so go over these make make uh, flashcards on these or let's do this I want you guys to 
press pause, draw all this in your notebooks, and then unpause. It's going to take you a while. So I'm just going to keep on talking. Oh, pause. Okay, so it says classify the angle pair as either corresponding, remember, same position, alternate interior, alternate exterior, same side interior, vertical. We talked about that in a previous video. So if you can't recognize vertical, look it up in the previous video or just remember they're on opposite ends of an X. Uh, and supplementary, remember supplementary angles are angles that add up to 180 degrees that make a straight line when you put them together. All right, so uh, let's look at this. What kind of angles are three and nine? Don't wait for me to do it. I want you guys to press pause and do these on your own and then see if you get them correct. So, oh, there's a couple of transversals. So uh, what we're gonna do is, this might be a little overwhelming. You might get a little scared because whoa, we only did two lines that were cut by one transversal. So let's make sure that we can focus on what we need. All right, so three and nine. Here's angle three, here's angle nine. Ignore these angles right here. So let's just focus on three and nine. This is their transversal right here. Okay, this is what connects three and nine. Three and nine are on the inside, so on the interior, and then they're on alternate sides. So these will be alternate interior angles three and nine okay how about five and thirteen five oh no that's fifteen huh five and thirteen okay so we're going to ignore these angles and just focus on five and thirteen five is above thirteen is above five is to the left of this transversal thirteen is to the left of this transversal so same position corresponding angles all right four and ten so here's four here's ten we're going to ignore these angles four and ten on different sides of the transversal and on the inside so alternate interior angles all right, 5 and 15. Okay, so here's 5, here's 15. We'll ignore these angles, 5 and 15. They're both on the exterior, and then they're on different sides of this transversal right here. So these would be alternate exterior angles. And 7 and 14, so again, we're, we're taking all these angles right here, we're, gonna, we're going to ignore these. And 7 and 14, it's on the inside, so it's, they're interior angles, but they're on the same side of the transversal, so these would be same side interior angles. Okay, or if you want to get fancy, um, another word for same side, and you may sound more uh, advanced, if you want to sound advanced, you could say consecutive interior angles. So consecutive, one after the other. Okay, or same side, either way. So I'll even put it right here. So consecutive interior angles. So some books. Some people have their preferences, so if you like same side, you can say same side. If you want to say consecutive interior, you can say consecutive interior. All right, 1 and 11. Here's the transversal we're going to focus on, 1 and 11. They're on different sides of the transversal, and they're on the exterior, so alternate exterior angles. All right, and let's see, next one, 13 and 16. Uh, they're right next to each other. And this angle, uh, oh, my light just turned off. That's all right. Uh, 13 and 16 put together make a straight line. This angle plus this angle make a straight line. So these are supplementary angles. And the last one, 13 and 15. So this angle right here. And this angle right here, they're on they're on uh, opposite ends of this X right here, so or a plus sign. Uh, so these would be vertical angles. All right, so 
Uh, make sure you review these. Make sure you can get these almost instantaneously uh, because that will help you later on in geometry. So the faster that you guys can get these, uh, the more equipped, the better you'll be for uh, yeah the next stuff that we're going to learn. So again, corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior, uh, and consecutive interior or same side interior. And then the reviews, uh, vertical angles, supplementary angles, and one thing that we didn't uh, review was, uh, hey, complementary angles. So that's it. Make sure you review these because these are super important for geometry. All right. Have a great day.